Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. Uh, and uh, in this segment of uh, our program, we will talk uh, about Prime Minister uh, Mustafa Madbouli's participation in the Africa Climate Summit uh, as it represents an excellent opportunity to address uh, climate financing issues and uh, to shed more light on uh, the Prime Minister's participation in this important summit we are joined over the phone by Mr. Abdel Latif Wahba he is a journalist good morning good morning yeah so, uh, Mr. Abdel Latif, uh, how uh, do you see the importance of Egypt's participation in this summit? Um, as you know, it is uh, the first international uh, event. Uh, they um, uh, they uh, are gathering, uh, I mean, uh, the United Nations, uh, the African uh, countries, uh, the international institutions. Uh, uh, they uh, gathered in uh, Africa uh, on the basis of the uh, Egypt uh, COP27. Uh, uh, they are discussing the main issues. Uh, they are discussing uh, the international uh, commitment uh, uh, to the African uh, countries. As you know, during the COP27, uh, President Fatah uh, Sisi invited all the international organizations uh, to give the, uh, the African states, the African uh, continent, uh, its right uh, for uh, developing uh, uh, the many infrastructures and the many uh, other uh, different sectors. Um, uh, as you know, that uh, uh, the African uh, uh, states suffered uh, during the last decades uh, from uh, disastrifications, from uh, the negative impact of, uh, um, uh, um, um, of the climate changes uh, and so on. And uh, how do you read the, the Prime Minister's uh, address uh, to the summit yesterday? Uh, you, uh, as you know, that uh, on behalf of uh, President Fattah Sisi, Prime Minister, uh, uh, um, uh, inserted, uh, uh, asserted that uh, um, Egypt uh, um, is speaking on behalf of the African uh, states and also calling the international uh, institutions uh, to help the African uh, continent, especially in um, uh, transferring to the uh, uh, green energy and to, uh, uh, to uh, re um, uh, new powers uh, or renewable uh, uh, power energy uh, and so on. Uh, as you know, that uh, this is, of course, uh, uh, very important for the African uh, states. Uh, and they, um, uh, the, uh, many countries uh, 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 didn't have the financial uh, capabilities uh, to meet uh, the, um, the, the, the needs uh, of uh, facing the climate changes. Uh, so uh, Egypt called uh, the international society uh, to help the African uh, countries uh, uh, to face this, uh, this uh, issue. Um, and at the same time, as you know, that uh, uh, you remember exactly when President Fattah um, uh, said before uh, that the African uh, countries or the African uh, mustn't pay uh, the price of uh, uh, modernization or uh, 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 for two times. Uh, as you know, that uh, during the last decade, uh, uh, for example, uh, the, uh, um, uh, some European countries uh, uh, and uh, uh, European powers uh, uh, exploited all uh, the international, uh, all uh, the natural uh, resources of the African uh, continent, uh, and the now it is the time to help them uh, in, uh, in uh, social uh, life. Uh, 
uh, I mean uh, the African uh, state social law uh, and so on. So, uh, Mr. Abdelatif, how can Egypt uh, cooperate with uh, its African neighbors uh, to achieve uh, climate uh, justice, especially in developing countries, and in strengthening the international effort for a fair and uh, rapid uh, transition to a low emission uh, uh, economy capable of dealing with the effects of climate change? Uh, as you know, that uh, Egypt uh, has uh, bilateral uh, relations. Uh, and also um, uh, and cooperation to, uh, with many uh, African uh, countries. And at the same time, the, uh, Egypt, uh, during uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, uh, created a body uh, for, um, for cooperation with the African uh, nations uh, in Ministry of Foreign Affairs and also in uh, the Egyptian uh, cabinet uh, to facilitate uh, the cooperation between Egypt and these countries. Uh, and uh, at the same time, as you know, that Egypt um, uh, sent many uh, uh, missions uh, in different sectors to the, to the African uh, countries uh, in health, in education, in uh, uh, developing public utilities, infrastructures, and so on, uh, and also in uh, green power, uh, uh, electricity, and energy, and so uh, to the African uh, states. Uh, this is, of course, uh, to help uh, the uh, uh, or to increase the cooperation between the, the two, uh, with the other. Um, uh, African uh, states, and as you know that uh, you have uh, to implement uh, or to take uh, uh, a step on ground as you are waiting, I mean the African uh, states are waiting uh, the uh, implementation of the international uh, uh, financial uh, commitment uh, to them. Uh, so they are uh, working uh, and uh, in progress with Egypt uh, to reach uh, to a level uh, that uh, uh, push the European and the international societies uh, to uh, help the African uh, states. Yes, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Abdel Latif Wahba, journalist and uh, ministerial uh, council. Uh, th uh, thank, thank you for being with us. And by that, dear viewers, we come to the end of uh, today's edition of The Breakfast Show. Thank you for watching.